Welcome to a quick look into what it is a mobile game called Goddess. And um, this was made by a small company actually. And yes, you can find it on your iPhone and Android. And um, it doesn't really have simulation in it. It does have minimal building. It's one of those, you know, stuff you like click and drag and collect, right? What a kind of like beautiful art and a horrible user interface. And uh, you know, um, that kind of game. And since SimCity build it's gonna come out and it's gonna be similar <laughs> to this, so you know, might as well get used to it. <laughs> so, uh, yes, as you can see, well, I, you know, I got this. Yeah, well, I can take it scared so easily. Take that. Basically, you are a god. That's what. You, that's who you are, and you can just terraform around. Okay, I can. I can scare them. Why? Is it out of my my range? Maybe I don't know. Let's, okay, apparently I have a card. Okay, let's focus on what this game does. Basically, you have these little people right here, right? That uh, technically they're persistent, they have their own names and so on. I don't know really how far that really goes, but they don't make you feel like that is worth anyway. So, um, and they basically do whatever they want. You can kind of direct them using this thing right here. I'm pointing with my finger. That's hilarious. Sorry, I'm used to using mouse uh, to do that kind of things. Um, this thing down here in the bottom left, uh, which is your, um, how do you call this? Not the power, but it's called something. Oh man, I don't even care that much. Anyways, you use that thing on the bottom left to you spend it on like terraforming and stuff like that. See, if I terraform, you can see on the bottom left, my points going down, right? You can see five, you know, four, so on. And yes, you can terraform by using your finger. So basically these little dudes cannot go higher than one um, step of or level of terrain at the same time. So you have to like make kind of like stairs for them to say, go see from here to higher. And uh, if I do something like this, uh, they won't be able to go up there anymore. See, so I know, I know, I'll put it back stuck complaining so um there you go all happy and um all right so basically whenever like um you have a new say house that you built um if there's terrain around it which right now there is right here you can see there's like a, an empty spot that it's created automatically see um it only comes up whenever there's enough room for it and the more room there is for it the larger it gets sort of like a uh, there was a game that did this and i forgot which one it was Anyways, yes, that kind of games. So actually, let's see if uh, we can make, now this one had to be big, so yeah, we get enough space here. So we're now gonna click these houses, see? And these little guys, workers, are gonna come out and build these houses. And of course, it takes time, and you can always use money to speed it up. Now, this sounds like a great game to actually experiment with things, because you have a bunch of powers here that I have not unlocked, um, but it sounds like it would be really in interesting and entertaining to use them, if and only if you could just unlock them a little bit faster. It takes so long, they so badly want you to use money. Remember back in the day when you could just cheat and try things now now you have to use a credit card if you want to do that so um i guess we could activate the, the holy forest i don't know what that is uh placing trees near abodies which is like the houses will increase the belief oh that is my currency okay the belief they produce all right yes i guess we, we can do that all right now you can place trees anywhere you like trees near all right okay Okay, tap the cross to cancel. Now we're gonna put some of these in. So I can just place whenever I want, right? Oh, that was like the worst part ever, but... Oh, okay, they're happy that this tree is growing. I'm gonna put another one down. You can see the price went up a little bit from 200 to 110, so you don't abuse of it. But you know what? We're gonna put another one here. Oh, yeah, you love me, right? You should adore me. Because I, for I... I'm the finger on the sky. Now, um, sure, it's not a new concept using your finger to interact with little people uh, in this touch era, but yeah, I was just gonna place a little of this everywhere. We have a lot of uh, belief. We believe. I believe. I think so. Uh, we're gonna cancel this now, and yes. Oops. Well, it's very easy on this game to accidentally terraform. That is one thing. Also, sometimes it gets hard. Uh, to actually uh, get this see it's like hard to pull. it's pretty hard to pull for some reason I don't know why and uh, 
I don't know. I, I think it's their algorithm to make sure you don't do it um, by mistake. But I don't know. It's it gets really hard. And of course, you cannot terraform everything. I mean, if I want to do it down here, it says I need to unlock this level scoping before I could only do sand. And now I can do also grass. Uh, and you know, buildings on grass uh, are better because they can produce more of this this currency, which I've forgotten again. Which is? Can you type it in the comment section below? So it doesn't change the future nor the past but do it anyway oh we have a few more workers anyways yes so you get a kind of like idea what thing you do and i have to say that it's a little bit rewarding after a while um you just like leave and come back and after 20 minutes uh you know there's a bunch of progress made there and uh, you still can actively play if that's your thing that is one of the good things um because if I wanted to spend more time, see, you can see how long this is going to take, depending on the amount of workers there. Uh, but yeah. And also, they like to spread out instead of focusing on one building at a time. So they are not efficient. I like that, that they are not efficient. I'm being sarcastic. I hate that part. Um, see, I just made more room for the house over there. And actually, I think I can make enough room to make... Uh, there we go. See? It enlarged. It got larger. All right. But this game also has some kind of like missions, which is kind of nice. So it's CS, yeah, it's a casual game. You're, you're supposed to come in once in a while. Oh, by the way, these are the chests. Okay, I need to explain the cards before I move on, we move on to the quests or missions. Um, so basically, you have these cards on the top left. And these are stuff, you know, these are the undiscovered ones. But these are the ones I already have, like Sculpt and Sand, the first one you get, like at the moment you start. New Age Shelters, which you know, are a little bit better uh, because, you know, they build more... Uh, uh, belief uh, on time and uh, eventually they get more capacity and so on restore ruins it gets um, uh, more builders um, let's see each hut belief capacity you know you can you can unlock these things with time basically the way you do it is you get these cards which you see in the middle right these two right here and um, then you have to use stickers now stickers are different colors and different icons you can see this uh, this one right here it's um, I don't want to put my finger on the screen, not for you to be able to see, but then I realize you don't see my finger. Uh, so this is green, it's a tool. This is uh, blue because it's community or whatever. Um, this is two greens and one industry, whatever that industry is. Two blues, right, and one green and so on. You can see like uh, the colors they have. So basically this one needs a 10 of pink. I don't have pink right now, right? But I, uh, let's see this one. Oh, it's also pink. I don't have pink right now. I have a bunch of the others. But with the stickers, you can afford unlocking these uh, cards, which give you those benefits. Like this one is 40 bel belief every time I destroy a rock, which is pretty nice. I like to see that because I, I feel like I could farm that. Now there seems to be like a sticker pack. Let's see what that is. Uh, spend your gems on this item. Uh, you know what? I, I don't know. Sure. Uh, I mean, I'm never going to use actual money, but I ha still have some of that. So might as well for this video. Okay. A bunch of stickers. Yay. The power of money. Damn. Okay. So first thing about the user interface, I cannot really get those pinks on the right side. I'm going to have to like drag and maybe I can still click. No, I cannot tap this. Okay. I hate you. User. Can, can you hide? No, hide. I need you to hide. Oh, there we go. Okay, wait, wait, let me think, let me think. Uh, let, let's just get the rock belief, I mean, come on. I've been working hard to get that, oh, it's so hard to do. All right, there we go. Okay, so we go back and now we have an unlocked uh, card, right? And uh, by the way, you can see down here, there's like a treasure chest and uh, I don't know if I can get it, no. You have to terraform the, uh, away from it so you can actually use it, but okay, let's, let's, let's see, let's find a rock. I wanna try that new power. Um, oh, here are some rocks. Oh, nice, nice. You can see like the trees work normally, like just give you one point. Oh, but rocks are nice now. I like that. I wish I could do it with trees. There are so many of them. Okay, but no, that, that was nice. That, okay, and you can see there's a treasure here. Uh, that is basically a sticker. So we can, we're gonna move this around. Nope. Okay, there we go. We found it, right? You, sh you just terraform away and then you click it and you get a green sticker. All right, cool. That's cool. So that is kind of like a nice mechanic because it forces you to explore if you may or just have that little mon moment like dump down squirrel moment where you just find shiny things and you go like, ah, oh, so pretty. By the way, yes, we have a card here. Beacon of expansion. Does it mean we can expand this area? Okay, that was so, uh, so obvious. All right. 
Okay, so all that that was like frozen now, it's basically has been made available. I like that. Do you guys like the effect of that thing? All right, it's, it's gone. But yeah, no, that was nice. Okay, I guess we're gonna undo this. All right. And we get a blue one. All right. So I guess I, I have time to all oh, look at all the monies here. Now I see rocks as money. Just look at the monies. Yeah. So this will, um, like every other game like this, just uh, try to hit you in the squirrel side of your brain, pretty much. Um, so you get an idea how the cards work. Um, you can see that you get more cards on the top left as you reach a new... Um, uh, high scores of population right have right now I had 161 again on the top left and I have to reach 165 and uh, That's gonna take a while But uh, I guess we could spit it out just for this video. So we're gonna finish now. Yes finish now and No, that that should be enough. I see the the blue thing going there Or right, finish now. Yeah, we're just gonna do a couple right now and uh, breeders are getting in and they're getting you babies, uh, and I wish you could spit it out again for the sake of the video. Because um, I really don't mind waiting. I don't mind like actually going back and forth, right? But you know what? Uh, we're gonna meanwhile do this, right? I don't know if time continues, but oh, I have a new card. I think we, oh no, we, we got the 165, all right, cool. We have two new cards, I think. So, farm and civilist. So, let's see, uh, worker type farmer. Farming settlements can assign farmers who plant on um, plots. They will work in fields and return wheat to the settlement for collection. All right. All right. How you wish for cities, this is the start. All right, cool. So basically you're kind of like progressing technologically as well. So, you know, it's, it's nice that they're doing this. From all the games that do the same thing, like even like the Star Wars Commander and all that, all that is more like a little PP there. I mean, I just can't go through the horrible tutorial that oh, yeah, they're so slow boring they tell you everything you have to do how are you gonna ever go through that you have to place this because now there are gonna be people coming from this side oh my god so scripted anyways uh bronze age resources you can clearly see like you're you're moving forward let's see all all the all the thing we can get longer leash meter strikes uh, that seems to be like a power of mine next age abilities a huge stone residence. Wow, this goes really far actually up to this. All right. So yeah, I mean it stays in this stone era, but you know. Anyways. Yes, let's do the voyage thing, which is kind of like the quest thing. Oh, okay, we got a new power or something. They want you to use. No, not this one. Alright. Yes, these games are also like that. Oh, you should totally check this out because yeah. And again, and again the, the progression it is quite slow. Um and you cannot do it all together. You have to wait. Or pay money. So you know. But um uh if you're really bored, uh it's not that such a bad um mobile game. Anyways. Farming settlement. You can move the ring and drag I don't know what am I doing right now. Any uh, in this ring will be squished together to form a settlement. Mhm. Mm well, I have a bunch. Of, uh, like I think I want to use the green area, huh? Which is the better one? All right, let's see. Preview. <laughs> oh, nice. This is now a village with a tall capacity of... Okay. Yeah, it's not that bad, to be honest. I'm, I should wait for the other building to finish, but you know what? We're gonna squish it. This village it, is just like an Audi, except it will breed farmers who can plant... Oh, it's like all squished together. Okay, that was, an, that was nice. We have, to, we have to admit that was nice indeed. And we're gonna tap these workers right here and see what they do. Oh, it's getting dark. But I guess these will actually lead on um, farms, which, you know, maybe they need some room, so we're gonna make that room. So, I don't know, you can see, like, the pacing is good because you often have something to do, right? There's always something to do, the pacing is nice, uh, it, it does get like a little slow once in a while, I mean you're like, you wish you could try more things, but you may have noticed this field bar, you will get new cards when you fill it up. Oh, okay, so basically you get new cards as you get more fields. All right, cool. Um, 
so we're not going to do the whole thing there but we're just going to tap all the workers right that's basically what you do you tap workers send them out this this one has two of capacity because i put down one of my powers which is like a monument okay that that is new in the game i've never seen rain before sorry dudes i i never uh, event ready what, what tap to start what event what are you talking about wait what happened there's like a now, home. Go back home. There's like a storm. There, everybody's gonna die, and you're taking me to uh, the quest. I mean, come on. Um, okay, that was complete. Oh, see, sorry, I'm I'm terraforming again by accident. Okay, so I am not sure what happened, but you know we're gonna keep on take on the Astari people. I hate those people. I cannot scope nearby. Okay, there we go, and I'll get a rock, just just to show you I'm serious. Sorry. Okay, cool. Now I, I learned this part. Yes. Okay, we're done. We're gonna now go to our Yabo Yash thingy and tap this guy. All right, so this these are the quests, right? And uh, just like any casual game you would expect, um, it doesn't really take you much time. So we're gonna sail, right, to the next spot right here. And the way it works, basically you accumulate points on a, and on each milestone, which is almost on every mission. Um, blind really slows down followers. All right, cool. Um, and basically what you have to do is you have your uh, ship right here on the dock, which magically appear. Uh, and you have to reach the um, temple. These are called temple, pretty sure. I cannot tap it, but trust me, it's... All right, so... Use Shrines of Speed. Oh, okay. This is a power, right? Okay, so you have to do this fairly quickly. Mm. Usually it's done by terraforming, although in this scenario it's clear that they don't want you to terraform. They just want you to use that power. Whatever it is. Alright, so we're gonna do that. Alright, cool. And let's land. You click land. Tap to activate. Okay. And how do I, oh, how do I like, can I place it like, okay. What if I, ah, there we go, this helps. See? Okay, now it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. Wait. See, okay, I, I kind of like <laughs> cheated through while I'm, I'm sure the developers know about this, but. <laughs> okay. And basically, you have to do it in the fastest uh, rate possible. Oh, sorry. Uh. Now, guys, go this way. It's much better. Now, I want to place... Yes, I want to place this here. Okay, there we go. There we go. And I think I pretty much done it. And you can, meanwhile, get stuff here. And you get, like, points for it. For some reason, I don't know why. The points are minimal. I don't know why they put that there. But I guess it's part of the thing. And there we go. We did that. And now, basically, we get points out of it. I did it in a, kind of like a good time, if you may, but not great. And you can see we got some stickers, and that is basically why why you do this. Uh, you get stickers. Oh, this seems to be like the final one. All right, let's do this. Uh, sale. Let's do the last one. I mean, it's just for the sake of it. And um, let's see what we got. Can't believe I'm doing this on simulation. All right. So, uh, granite blocks copying. Oh, no way, that ass, uh, I mean, that, that nice person. So, these guys are considered to be champions, and uh, you cannot, um, you have to make them not go by them, because uh, if they do, well, I guess they get attacked and they die or something. Uh, luckily, I never got that to happen, but oh well. So, where would you make them go? Well, that is the, the tricky part. You have to figure out where are you going to make them go through. Clearly, this is blocked by granite, granite so, you know, you're not going to do that. And you want to make it as fast as possible, so... Huh. Alright, well, first of all, I have to make sure they don't go towards this side, because they're gonna die. So, like, yeah, just make sure that that is out of the way. I know, I'm gonna take, like, forever on this one, but... Um, let's see. Yeah, we're gonna do this, and this. Okay, they should be able to go up now. Oh, no, this way. Okay, there we go. And um, they kind of like go there. Oh, can I rotate on this? Oh, that is so annoying. 
All right, so I'm gonna clear the path here, right? But they, oh no, 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 don't go here. Don't, you're gonna die, you're gonna die. Don't be stupid, no, shit. Oh, damn. Yep. Okay. Um, let's see. So how would you do this exactly? All right, yeah. This is clearly like okay. It just spiked in difficulty in a way that I'm not. I'm not even care. Like the the other missions are like so stupid. It's funny that one is actually there. It really spiked in difficulty. Um. Anyways, yeah, I'll definitely go back and check that out. But you, all you get really are stickers, and I have a bunch of those. Um. So we're gonna click home, and then you go back and see what the is going on in your uh, home world and again once in a while it tells you check on the starry people nothing interesting to do here you just terraform a bit and they get away they go away um it's kind of like uh on spore whenever you have to go back home and check on the i don't know the million annoying uh oh how do you call it okay i got this stop teaching me this oh my god i think there is like Oh, nice. I think there's, um, oh, what was it? I think there's an event that is tied into this that keeps resetting and that storm was part of it, I believe. Um, anyways, yeah, we can click. There are more workers here to click and make them go out. Go, go, everybody go. Work, don't be lazy. Don't stay home and play games like me, come on. All right. So yeah, I, I guess that sort of gives you an idea of what the game really is about. These are just temples and so on that you... Um, this is the first one you get, the goddess temple, and basically the option is rate us. That is really what that is for. And then once in a while you get this relief, which you can collect by just holding the finger, not the mouse, and then moving it around. That is pretty much how it works. These are the first shelters that I built. These are beach houses. That were better and oh, I, I think we got a, a car or something oh no that that one brown bronze age resources well it's a pink one so i guess i could just use this right it has two pink ones one blue one i have two pink ones so i'll put them the, everything is pink so it's gonna uh. and um yep no more cards so we have to get more population or get more farms here which i think it's gonna take like 20 minutes well how about we sit here and wait 20 minutes or sorry 40 minutes and see no sorry 20 minutes and you know see what happens no because that'll be boring so you have to bear that in mind that um you're gonna like play a little bit right and then go back to work or something like that um but nevertheless besides the the you know the fact they put a uh, model on top of uh, or sorry, in front of gameplay and, you know, good quality game because it happens when you do this. Um, it's not that bad for what it is. Um, you know, I, I agree. This game, if you it would have like, it would cost like, I don't know, five bucks and uh, not have all that around it. Sure, it would be harder to sell because then you have to make a really good game to sell and not just one that, you know, by being free is good enough, right? But um at least you i'm sure they will would give you more freedom and more experimentation around this because right now i'm just like oh i wish i could do more right and like i now i just have to wait in which game does it really make sense to just wait for one side it's nice because you kind of like get that a sense of progression even when you're not doing anything half hour later you made all this progress because you waited with an app on the background or closed but you know it requires internet connection, so you have to bear that in mind. If you don't have a, a stable internet connection, like I was having last night, you're, you're gonna get like an annoying pop up in the middle. In the middle, and it's quite annoying. But besides that, yeah, it's not that bad. So right now, I'm just really waiting for SimCity building. <laughs> See, it's gonna be the same thing as this, only different, and no terraforming. Oh <laughs> uh, yes. No, no, seriously, I want to see what SimCity build it has to offer. It's going to be like annoying crap. It's... But, but, pff, sorry, but I don't, I don't ever know what these guys are doing here. But, um, you know what? Ah, it doesn't look that bad and uh, apparently it's free. So, you know, whenever it comes out in my country, I will definitely... Uh, give it a try because right now it's like in New Zealand and I don't know where else 
Maybe in the US by the time this video comes out, who knows? So yeah, oops, I'm terraforming the water. But anyways, yeah, and the water looks nice. I have to say, like, not, not this part, but you know, the, the shallower part. You know, like, it looks kind of nice. Nice, fancy, kind of like uh, art style that went through and actually like, these layers like right here, like especially when you're like trying to make a little bit more room, it feels like you're stretching a sandwich or something. It looks like, I don't know, hard to express, but uh, yeah. Gotta put more mayonnaise in there. All right, so that is all for uh, sand Sandwich Maker uh, 2013. Um, 14, <laughs> sorry, we're in 14. <laughs> I'm too used to saying that. Um, yeah, that, that is that is it. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. That, that'll be my conclusion. It's not that bad. And we got a new car as so a as well. Wood built abilities. Nice. I like to have one request people make in this game. To be able, be able to upgrade the houses. Which I think right now I can destroy them. Let me see. Oh no, I cannot. How do I destroy one? Uh oh, I cannot destroy this. I seriously cannot destroy it. I, I want to redo it. Powers. Holy forest. Now I want like. Mirror shower, something like that. Okay, no, apparently that is nothing. Well, it's just you get this poor little house. Like, you see your old progress and you wish you could do something about it. I left the fishes here because I thought they were cute. Okay, apparently th this treasure things spawn because there, there was none here earlier. Anyways, another sticker. Oh, a pink one. I needed that one. All right. But yes, that is what I think of um, Sandwich Maker 2014. It's a fun game. Uh, it makes your phone so hot. I have an iPhone 5 and oh boy, it's freaking hot. It's made out of metal. It's uh, an al aluminum alloy something. I don't know. Aluminum something i don't know what it is but it's some kind of aluminum and uh that is great because the phone can breathe out from pretty much everywhere it looks beautiful but it burns your hands so yeah bird that in mind this will kill your battery and also burn your hands so you have to bird that in mind um they actually are aware of it because whenever um you play too much sorry the battery is too low you're gonna see an indicator on the top right and saying that, oh, you have 50%, 40%, 30%, all rocks, all right. So yeah, if you wanna appeal your inner squirrel, inner god squirrel, this is the game for you. And yes, that is all for now. More actual reviews, <laughs> oh, sorry, more uh, reviews and guides and how-tos on SimCity, The Sims 4 and City Skylines on SimNation.tv. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. This is the most satisfying thing ever. We are God in SimCity 4. Wow, that was loud. <laughs> oh, you're gonna eat that, huh? You're gonna eat it. I see. What? Nothing. Okay. And now she is tossing that salad with her... Stop sticking your finger in your ear! All right, she's tossing the salad with her earwax. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> you need to have them both coming out of your nose like this. I can't. I just can't. Oh, yeah. Just road trips, man, are killing me. Anyway, let me know whenever we are recording. Hi, and welcome to another episode of Extended Play. I'm your host. This is Stuart, and that is a fancy, fancy sign. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.